I get a lot of questions on my YouTube. What tools do I need to start working with leather? I have no idea. Actually, that's not true, I do. Welcome to the first video I've done with input from Patreon. This is by no means a definitive list of tools, and I will add tools to the description down below if I think I've missed any. You'll certainly want a small sketchbook of some kind to work on patterns and design elements. Some kind of paper for patterning. I buy rolls of it from Home Depot, the, uh, I think that's painter's paper. A ball-peen hammer for your riveting. A little anvil is always handy. Small cutting board. You want a variety of rivets, both large and small. Some wax thread, both glover's needles and blunt needles, and a lighter. A strop that you can either buy pre-made or make your own for sharpening all your tools from knives to bevelers. And the appropriate rouge. A small ruler. And a skiver for thinning down your leather, especially when you're doing buckles. A compass to help with marking hole placement, marking edge lines. Uh, I don't even have a pencil compass, I just have a regular scratch compass and it works just fine. A number two edge beveler, which will work on a variety of thicknesses of leather. This isn't the actual kit you should buy, but I don't have the mini or max punch kit. I, I just have a bunch of separate drive punches, but if you buy that kit, you have a whole wide range of drive punches to use by just swapping out the heads. You'll also notice that there's no rotary punch listed here. That's because cheap rotary punches are terrible, and drive punches can put holes anywhere. An Ulfa knife and a bunch of replacement blades, a scratch all, and a stylus. They're fairly interchangeable, but I definitely use my stylus when I'm doing leather carving. I'll use it specifically to transfer the image through the tracing film onto my project. Both fine tip and regular tip sharpies, and if you're doing a lot of work with black leather, you should get some silver sharpies. A pencil eraser and pencil sharpener for use with your sketchbook, tracing, patterns, you know, all the things that pencils are used for. So that's the starter kit. But, if you want to do leather carving as well, you're also going to need some of these extra tools. So, you need tracing film, a poly mallet, which might come in handy for your beginner kit anyways, a swivel knife with a fine tip ceramic blade that'll make corners easy, something to hold some water and a sponge, and then you're also going to want a background tool and a beveler. Lastly, a granite slab is a must for tooling. And you can use your cutting board with it, which will deaden sound and make sure your hammer strikes are solid for your drive punches and for doing your leather carving, of course. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video or got something out of it. I'd uh, love to hear some comments down below about what tools you would add to this kit. There's going to be a part two. There's going to be some tools that people argue about that should be in this kit that aren't in this kit. And maybe I'll add them to it in the description if I can be convinced. And lastly, if you haven't noticed, we're closing in on 10,000 subscribers, which is monumental. Thanks for all the support, everybody, and I'll see you next time.